The history of the Snaffle Bit Futurity, a West Coast tradition. After the missions were established in California, to encourage settlement, the Spanish government awarded prominent men large land grants to set up ranchos. They brought cattle with them and highly skilled horsemen with their expertly trained horses to manage the great herds. The vaquero trained his horse based on centuries-old traditions learned from developing the Spanish war horse and the skills and techniques of the Moors. It is these men that provided the foundation and traditions of the reined cow horse we see today. At that time, the Spanish cattle in California were tough, and so was the terrain. The vaquero relied on his finely tuned mount to work the livestock and survive the land. Their training method took a horse from the hackamore, through the two-rein, and then into the spade bit. Because the training and partnership of the horse and rider was so valued, the vaqueros often held contests to showcase their horses. The contest demonstrated their horse's bravery and cow working prowess, as well as their finesse with rein work, including sliding stops and spins. As time moved on, California changed, and so did the big ranches. The vaquero was not as common. Determined to preserve the heritage and traditions of the vaquero and their legendary working horses, a small group of Californians founded the California Cow Horse Association and held events similar to the contests of the vaqueros. Still today, the reined cow horse competition is the ultimate demonstration of a horse's training and the horsemanship and skill of the showman. It is thrilling and demanding, with horse and rider competing in three events, cutting herd work, reining dry work, and cow work fence work. Well, the, the Snaffle Bit fraternity started way back, I'm gonna say 70, and uh, Bob Ingersoll and a group of guys came up with it is what it amounts to. Bobby is one of our legendary horsemen. He started the Snaffle Bit, he's done it all. He's our only triple crown winner. And uh, he came up with that Snaffle Bit, basically so we would, as trainers, could make a living, get horses in training as a two and three year old, take our time, get them in the show pen, you know, and start them like that. And that's uh, basically how it was started. It's the same as when it started, just, you know, it's like anything, uh, everybody gets better at it. The Rain Cow Horse has a, a lot of growth as far as spectators, uh, people who are really interested in the event, but it has this great spectator base and a great fan base that really watches because it's exciting to watch. And a lot of people know how hard it is. The modern day horse trainer, it's a little too hard for them. They'll go try it for a few years, but they would rather like do the cutting or the reining or something that doesn't take quite the intensity of it like that. But the fans and the people around the world that come to it now, is really, it's pretty dang neat. You know, uh, from the day I started, I think the very first year as I showed up there was 1981, okay? And it, it's always been called Reno. Reno Snaffle Bit Futurity, Reno Snaffle Bit Futurity. It's always been that way. Everybody wants to know, do you have a horse going to Reno? Or if they just say Futurity, you just assume it's Reno. It, it is, uh, you know, that's been the home of the Snaffle Bit Futurity forever. It's moved two or three times, not very far every time, but it, it's got the draw. It, it's always been the best at Reno. And the Reno people are really good for it. I mean, they want it. Their facility was, their facility there, the Livestock Event Center was built especially for the Snaffle Bit Futurity. In 2016, due to a variety of factors, the NRCHA decided to move the 2017 NRCHA Snaffle Bit Futurity to Fort Worth, Texas. There were many who did not want to see our tradition of the Snaffle Bit Futurity leave the West Coast, where the reined cow horse sport was founded and where they believe this event belongs. With support from Lucas Oil and Protect the Harvest and other sponsors, several champion trainers pulled together to keep a snaffle bit futurity in Reno. 2017 is our inaugural event, the Reno Snaffle Bit Futurity. And thus, the tradition continues.